Hello, this is Sharon from icstatisticalprogramming.com. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, create enhanced reports using a proc print procedure by using additional statements and options. So first, I'm using proc import to bring in an Excel data file. It's a fun run data ID class file. And also the output SAS data set, I call it FR0. So let's run this procedure to get the data ready. So this is our FR0 uh, data set. So it has a, a, the variable that contains student name found, which is the found raised with fun run activities, and student gender information, student ID, and lastly, student class information. So we have a total 11 rows in this data set. And this is the found variable. So it contains the found raised from the fun run activities for each student. Okay. So let's look at the first uh, proc print uh, procedure. So in this procedure, I'm going to add uh, a sum statement to compute subtotals and totals for the numeric variable. And also I specify formats for a variable by adding the format statement. Right? So the data I'm using is FR0. And I include NOOBS option because I don't want to include observation number column in my report. And then in the where statement, uh, I want to include all these variables in my report. They are student name, student ID, student gender, uh, student class, and also the found variable. And also in this sum uh, statement, I want to compute the subtotals and totals for this numeric variable found. And also the format, I'm using the format statement to display the values for this found variable. So the format I want to use for this uh, variable is $5.1, OK? So let me run this procedure. So this is the report. We have all the um, variables listed in the report according to the wire statement. And also for the found variable here, the last row is the total uh, row. So this row contains the totals for this variable. Because I didn't separate the report to different groups, so that's why we don't have um, subgroup total. We only have a grand total uh, for this uh, report, which is a 9.7. Okay. So let's look at the next program. Next, I want to compute group subtotals. The group variable I want to use is the class variable. So in the proc print procedure, I'm going to include by statement. And then in the by statement, I include this group variable, which is class variable in the by statement. So this way, the proc print procedure will give us a, a report by group of this class variable. But before we run this uh, proc print procedure, we do need to sort the data or order the data according to the by group, which is the class variable. So that's why I include proc sort procedure here. And then we want to sort the data by class information. And also in the proc print procedure here, I add a by statement by class, OK? So let's run this and see what we got. So this is the uh, report from the proc print procedure. So we can see because I include the by statement by class in the proc print procedure. So now we have uh, four tables for this report. So one table for each uh, category of class variable. So first table class equals A. And here um, is the list of observation in this group. And also we can see for the found variable that SAS provided the uh, subtotal for this group. So $31.2 is the total found raised for the group of class equals A. Okay. And the same story for class equals B, C, 
and D. And also for this last table, class equals D, not only we have subtotal for this group, we also have a grand total for all the observations, which is 89.3, okay? And also we noticed for all the tables here, for the subtotal and the grand total uh, row, the label we have uh, for the subtotal is just the group variable here as the label for this row. So we only have class as the label for subtotal rows. And for the grand total row, SAS did not give us a uh, label for that row. So those are the default label display for subtotal and the grand total rows, okay? So, but we can label the subtotal and the grand total, and we can use two options to do that. So one option is sum label equal option. We can use this one to replace the default subtotal label. And also we can use grand total underscore label equal option to replace a blank uh, grand total label, okay? So this way uh, we can make the report more readable. So basically this PROC procedure is same as this one, except I add two options in the PROC print statement. One is subtotal equal option. So I want to give subtotal a label as total found raised. And also for grand total row, I want to give it a label as grand total find raised. Okay, so let's run this procedure. So uh, we can see when class equals A, so the subtotal uh, row now has a total find raised this label. Okay, it's much easier to understand. And also for the last table, contains grand total row. Now it's labeled as grand total find raised. All right. Next, I'm going to uh, show you another way to identify group subtotals. So we can use both by and ID statement in the proc print step to modify the appearance um, of the report. So when we specify the same variable in both by and ID statements, the print procedure uses the ID variable to identify the start of the by group. So um, here in this proc print procedure, after the by class statement, I also add ID uh, statement. So both by statement and ID statement using the same variable, which is class. So in this way, it will give us a modified appearance of the report. So I'm going to run this proc print procedure with the last proc print procedure so we can compare the difference. All right, so this one is the report not including the ID statement. So you can see for each table, class equals A, the class information is on top, all right? And then if we look at this four tables, so this table is from the last proc print procedure with both by statement and also the ID statement. So we can see it, it, it contains basically the same information. So for each table, every table corresponds to uh, one category of class variable, but the look is different. So now the class information becomes uh, a column here. So here, class and A, that means this table is for a group of class equals A. So this way, I think it's uh, more readable than this previous report. So this one, class equals C, is on top, but this one, uh, the class information is actually included in the table. And uh, if I create a report, I would prefer uh, this kind of appearance than this one, okay? 
So this is it for this tutorial. So this tutorial, I showed you a few programs on how to create enhanced report using a proc print procedure. All right. So this is it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.